a lot of people don't realize this is with the, this case of genuine possessions, it's not just one exorcism and then bam, you're cured. It can take months, sometimes it can take years, and it is really a war of attrition. And that's why I love exorcists so much. I, I consider them sort of the generals in the army because they're going head to head with Satan and Satan has a target on them. He hates exorcists. And, uh, and, and so they, and they, they really suffer, they really fight, but they're fighting for souls. Well, so Father Gabriel Morth was asked that, well, don't, aren't you worried that the devil hates you and is gonna attack you and all this type of stuff? And he said, well, he's already hating me as much as he can, and he's already doing as much as he can to bring me to hell. So in his mind, he was pretty calm about that part of it. Uh, Padre Pio asked about, he said, the devil's a dog on a chain. He only bites if you get too close. So, but yes, they, there is a warfare in what, what you're talking about, the generals in the army. Gabriel Amorth wants more diocese to have ordinary uh, well, so operating yeah. Yeah, so uh, in the Vatican. Yeah. Every diocese yeah, to the have. And, and they exorcism. don't. There's yeah, many bishops is, that yeah. do not. And this is his point. They it's, don't believe in the demonic. The bishops don't. Well, yeah. the, pro the problem is many it's kind of, of a denial of the yeah. idea that spiritual warfare is real, right. Right. I think. Yeah, yeah that's exactly yeah. what it is. You, you know, talk about spiritual warfare. Yeah, spiritual warfare is real, which is why we need exorcists, which is why the church gives us exorcists. Ephesians 6.12 says, for we are not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. The devil would love nothing more than for us to believe he doesn't exist.